My name is Simon Chia. People don't understand me. My life is a dream, a fantasy. With her, I can escape reality. But that was when I realized I was trapped. Simon, Simon, I'm here. Suzanne is my one and only sister. My love for her never withers, although she never believes what I say. She thinks I am always seeking for her attention and assumes everything is in my head. The last time this happened, she threatened to do something she dreaded, but she never said what it was. It scared me a little, but I just had to introduce them to each other, although I know she wouldn't believe in the existence of A. I wonder why something so right could feel so wrong. Simon, who are you talking to? Hey Suzanne, this is my new girlfriend, A. A, this is Suzanne. There's nobody there. Can't, can't you see her? I can't. But she's right there. No, I can't. Stop lying, Suzanne. No, Simon, we have told you this before. There's no such person as A. Wait, look at what you've done. A is my source of happiness. She is the one who keeps me sane when everything is going insane. I dread the day she disappears from my life. But no, I won't let that happen. I was a lonely wolf, constantly rejected by everyone. All I wanted was love and acceptance. I needed a companion, someone who could keep me going. Someone who could keep me alive when everything around me seemed dead. That's when I saw her. My definition of perfection. She's a mystery, the spark to my curiosity. I walked towards her, thinking of words that might appeal to her. I asked myself, how do I do this? Stay cool or be trendy? I decided to just stick with the classics. Hi, I'm Simon. Hi, I'm A. Are you waiting for anyone? No, I'm not. Do you want to walk around with me? Sure, let's go. But each time I brought her up, everyone thinks I'm crazy. She believed in me and I believed in us. It's taunting, it's haunting, because our memories together were mesmerizing. Each time I offered her food, she would decline it. I assumed she was putting in the effort to look good and I appreciated it. But I'd rather her be healthy because I love her for who she is and not how she looks. I trust her because we are united as one now. I will part with anything for her but her. She accepted me for who I am and I accept her for who she is. Everyone refuses to acknowledge us, but it's okay as long as we've got each other today. We found love. It was a lifetime deal. She is truly my happy pill. Each time she disappears, I wish I could disappear with her. Because without her, all I feel is fear. I wallow myself in pity. Everything is dull and cold. With her, I saw a world full of wonders. The person who kept me alive has now faded away, disappeared in vain. No goodbyes, said. And right now, she's gone. She's a past tense now. Another history, another experience. But I don't want it to be this way. If she can't be with me here, we can be together somewhere else. Somewhere where we can be free. Hello. This was what Zen meant. I understand her now. Even my own sister thinks I'm different. Someone out of the norm. Even A couldn't keep me cozy and warm. Because, at the end of the day, it will just be me and my mind, 
where I know everything is going to be fine. I screamed in pain. It was turning me insane. My life was a misery. All I wanted was to be free. Meeting her was a painful bliss, a dreamy adventure. Where are you? Where are you when I need you? Eh? Eh? It wasn't a dream or a fantasy. It's just that I was trapped in my memories, my own mind, my past. Hi, I'm Dr. Thing. With the love of my life.